I, I was pretty shy and I found that my imagination was like where I could be like loudest. Um, and I would just have like a lot of fun creating different worlds, uh, visualization and manifestation Okay. in terms of like, okay, how do I want the game to go? Like what character am I gonna embrace? What can we do? How do we think differently? multiple perspectives especially having a mom who didn't speak English as her first language mm -hmm. um, it taught me to just pay attention to people more and have have greater empathy you know with a lot of like um, misunderstandings where people are like oh you just don't get it I was like no she does <laughs> you're just not listening yeah. <laughs> yeah and then on the opposite end of that my mom walking into like JC Penny and trying to bargain she's like oh, okay yeah it's 20.99 definitely like you know let's do 16 and the girl's like can't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think sometimes they'd end up giving her the discount, though. <laughs> hey, you never know unless you ask, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we love to go to the farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, and growing up, she would go with like $10 and come home with, they'd just give her free things at one point. <laughs> Really? Yeah, because of the community. She was just so good at bargaining and like making friends. And she's like, okay, I give you $2 and I get this. And <laughs> And I, I get that too, you throw that in, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always funny coming home. I was like, wow, how do you do it? So I kind of have some of that mentality. And, um, you know, taking that mindset and applying it to like, okay, how do I stay innovative and creative um, in, in business and today and in working with you and liberate even of like, what can we do? How do we think differently? Yeah. Um, and that's been the exciting part, um, you know, of uh, thinking outside of the box of what's expected of you, especially coming from the suburbs where they're like, and now you will get married. <laughs> married by 25 with a white picket fence and 2.5 kids. Right. And, yeah, and your 0.5 kid yes. right here. <laughs> She's like, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I didn't mean to put, call you a 0.5. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, that was a scary jump because I, it, so I grew up in always being surrounded by creative things. Um, and then. Well, where'd the spirituality come into play? Were you a spiritual from a young age? Did you like kind of have the spiritual awakening? And yeah. Then, yeah. I, I, I've always been very sensitive, okay. you know, so I, I always kind of felt like I was like tapped into like a greater good in the sense that I didn't know everything. I was like, there's must, there's, there's definitely things outside of us, right? Where we mm -hmm. don't have control. Um, and I did grow up going to church on Sundays, but not in a not in a restrictive way. It was mm -hmm. a very supportive sense. Um, and then I think, you know, um, uh, not to bring down the podcast, but when my mom got sick, um, there was just this huge moment of surrender in my mm -hmm. life. And I remember thinking, um, wow, <laughs> like I, this is a role that I have to play at a young age. Um, I was 16. And she unexpectedly got diagnosed with cancer. And I was, um, it was just interesting because it was a very distinct moment where I was like, I feel like I'm wearing her shoes, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but in, in an empowering way. Like, okay, what would she do? Because she's taught me so much. So, and having that connection with her and um, my family and my sisters through that time, and then understanding that you can plan everything and it means nothing. <laughs> yeah. um, I was like, I like wow. that. You can plan everything and it means nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, one of the biggest wisdoms you can get and getting that at 16, that's huge. It, yeah. That's why I was like, okay, there's a lot of gifts that have come from, you know, that moment in time that you wouldn't want to give anybody because of the cost mm -hmm. but in having that knowledge now being a creative in the city it's like yeah okay yeah, like I've always learned to leave space like if something leaves it's like oh, okay <laughs> that was not <laughs> expected um but it just means that there, there's it's like a game board it's like monopoly in mm -hmm. the sense of like no there's just space now so how do we fill it art has saved me so many times at a time where I was like very lost I, I still found the ability to laugh and not only laugh but be like holy like that I feel really happy yeah so if that's the possibility then um there's a greater good to everything